The blowback against Nike continues over their new Just Do It ad campaign featuring Colin Kaepernick. At least one store is selling off its Nike apparel at half price, a school is removing Nike from teams' uniforms and fans are burning their shoes in protest. It's not exactly what I would call good PR. In Louisiana last week, a mayor sent out a memo banning his city's recreation department from purchasing any Nike products. Kenner City Mayor Ben Zan took a principled stand and seems to have declared that on September 5, that under no circumstances should Nike products or any product with the Nike logo be purchased, WBRZ2 reported Saturday. The memorandum was circulated on social media, bearing the city of Kenner letterhead and Zan's signature. Works for me. The mayor just royally stuck it to Nike and the ban is effective immediately. Sounds like a great place to live if you ask me. That's one mayor that should be re-elected stat. This mayor joins business owners, police officers and military veterans who are definitively telling Nike where they can stuff their brand over supporting a cop-hating Black Lives Matter social justice warrior like Colin Kaepernick. Zan had his office send the memo to Parks and Recreation Department Director Chad Pitfield on September 5, according to what appears to be a copy of the letter posted to WBRZ. I love it. Nice to see a mayor with some stones out there. The local media got a hold of the memo which allegedly states that, effective immediately, any booster club operating at city recreation facilities must have their purchases approved by Pitfield, including apparel, shoes, athletic equipment, and or any athletic product, sounds by the book to me. If you are using city recreation facilities, you are in effect, bound by their rules. Below is Kenner Mayor Ben Zan, left, laughing with city councilman-elect George Brannigan who is wearing a, make Kenner great, hat. In a post on the City of Kenner, District 1 Facebook page, Councilman Gregory Carroll went the other direction. He responded to the memo in a public Facebook post on Sunday, I was not made aware of this decision beforehand and it is in direct contradiction of what I stand for and what the City of Kenner should stand for. I am 100% against this decision. I will meet with the mayor and other council members in an effort to rescind this directive, and just like that, Carroll should be voted out of office over this. This comes just days after Nike made their fateful announcement that former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick would be the face of its 30th anniversary Just Do It campaign. Behold yet another consequence of Nike's tone deafness when it comes to a huge segment of their clientele. Zan did not mention Kaepernick by name in his memo. He's no dummy and that was almost certainly by design. He's protecting himself and the city legally here from leftist activists and lawfare. And if you had any doubt that Zan truly feels that way, it definitely appears so. Although Zan did not respond Sunday to requests for comment, he did speak on the issue a week earlier at Kenner's Freedom Fest at the lake. She's going to come out and do our national anthem because this is not the NFL football players, right? This is the city of Kenner. In the city of Kenner we all stand, he told the crowd prior to a performance of the anthem.